Good morning. I'm Ted Lane. I'm Connor Bunting, and welcome to our session on marketing process and support. Uh, so um, to, to keep me from getting too bored, I made a very fun PowerPoint. So uh, get ready for that. PowerPoint, PowerPoint, PowerPoint. So here's what we're going to talk about today. Um, we get this question a lot. So what would you say you do here? Uh, so we're going to take some time to explain our roles, and you're going to uh, get to meet our amazing team and find out how we work with them. And a lot of you probably think, oh, who do I call if I need an email sent out? Who do I call for a print project? Or I've got this big event, who am I going to call? Well, we're going to talk a little bit about that, and we're going to take you through our process and how we support you, and then we're going to walk through start to finish our marketing process request form. And uh, some of you are familiar with it, but we thought that would be good for you to see how we have developed that. And then, then we're going to take some time to let you know how we help you and how that works with our team and how that impacts ICC. Help me help you. We will have a Q&A session at the end. So if you have any questions as we go through this, go ahead and write them down. We'll have about 10, 15 minutes at the end to take your questions. Because as we said, we're here to help you, our team, and ICC. So we want to make sure that our process fits you, the client, as best as it can as well. Um, and so you're going to notice I'm a major cinephile. I love movies. So Office Space is one of my favorites. So the question that we get a lot is, so Ted, what would you say you do here? OK, so I'm the director of marketing. And what does that mean? I was just going to read my job description. <laughs> it, it starts out, direct the development of effective multi-channel marketing and communication strategies for the college. What the heck does that mean? <laughs> so what it really means is that uh, I am responsible for our media uh, relations, design, print, social media, doc services, photography, video. And that includes traditional and digital channels. I was in marketing 10 years ago. Things have changed tremendously in that time. So the traditional channels are obviously print, um, we do TV, we do radio, we do billboards. Those are the kind of advertising mediums that everybody's used to. But then we also have getting into the digital channels, which includes geofencing, which I'm sure some of you have heard about, where you actually uh, you see somebody at the car show. We're going to geofence them and say, hey, you want to to uh, come to GMA step at ICC. That actually is a digital ad that will appear on their phone. We do Google AdWords so that if you're searching for Illinois Central College, uh, you, you, there's keywords that you're using, that's gonna come up with a digital ad from us. Um, we are also obviously doing the uh, social media and, and doing ads with that. So what does that mean for marketing at ICC? Well, our mission is to develop the brand and ensure that it's consistent across all these channels, whether it's external or internal. We want to make sure we have the same voice. You've seen our ICC as a smart choice. We're trying to capitalize on that and get uh, visibility and uh, a cohesive brand that everybody can associate with ICC. Um, so what would you say you do here, Connor? Yes, I am marketing coordinator. Uh, I'm a brand new role, and I'm brand new to the college as well. I just started on July 1st. They actually just created this role because they saw a need. They wanted someone to be the main contact point for the client. They wanted there to be you know, that question, who are you going to call? That's me. I am going to be the project manager for anything marketing related. And so my role was created to kind of fill that gap. And so when you're like, okay, if I have an email, who do I call for this? If I, have a, I want a brochure updated, who do I call for this? If I want f f uh, photography, I'd be your main contact. And then I'd be making sure it gets to the right people and is delivered al al along the right channels to get back to you. And so speaking of the right channels, I want to introduce you to our amazing team because we cannot take full credit for what we do. We can only take a very partial credit because we have some amazing people who do a lot of great work on our team. And I pulled these pictures off of the employee uh, directory. Thanks. So uh, <laughs> if you're upset, talk to, talk to IT. So anyway, so let's, let me introduce you to the great people that I work with. So we have our communications team. Uh, we have Kayla, Sharon, Kiwan, and Eileen. And these folks, basically anything wordy, 
comes through them. If we uh, uh, get something written up, we kind of rewrite it so that it has the voice of ICC. Um, we look through giant reports and uh, make document prep and uh, do uh, changes and uh, edit things and we proofread through the communications team. So these are our word people and I love working with them. So on to our graphic design team. These fantastic ladies make all the pretty stuff you see all over campus and in print materials. We have Jeannie, Casey, Jenny, and Melissa is our off-site uh, person, so we don't have a picture of her in our employee directory, but um, these ladies are in charge of working in InDesign and doing their magic to make things look awesome and to design logos, to uh, um, put things together for posters, whatever needs to be designed and made to look pretty and match our ICC standards, our graphic design team does that. So our giant web team, it consists of Todd. But you would think that it's a team because he does so much work it, and so quickly. Uh, Todd is fantastic. He works enough for five people. So yeah, I know, right? I love it. That's so Todd. And so um, anything web related comes through Todd. Anything, any updates to our website, uh, any updates to uh, information on our website, that all go th goes through Todd. And, uh, we have a lot of exciting projects coming through web right now. We're updating our website in general, and we're making some other big websites as well. Um, our print team, uh, these fantastic people are very busy, especially around this time of year with school year starting up. We have Holly, Troy, Ibra, and our student worker, Eric. Holly uh, is at our front desk. She's kind of our traffic controller for all things print shop. Troy, Ibra, and Eric are very busy in the back printing out things, folding them, stapling them, and delivering them throughout the campus. So you'll probably see one or if not all of these guys bringing you the fantastic things that come from our print shop. And then we have our events, events team, which are right in the room right here. So We have Stephanie and Linda. So um, they, anything ICC related where, where, where it needs a room reservation or uh, ICC's name on it, it goes through our events team, Stephanie and Linda. And they uh, make sure all the things are in order, that your event is reserved through our Service 25 Live. Uh, if you need any other services like uh, catering, uh, table setup, room setup, whatever it might be, these fantastic ladies put all that together for us. And how we work with them is when I am, when we are in contact with you as a client, when we meet, I figure out all of your needs and then I translate it into terms that make sense for each of our teams uh, so that it goes through the right channels to get back to you and you get the best product. So next, who are you going to call, Ted? What's our current process? So just to give you a little background, we did our uh, a reorgan in March and uh, that's where we aligned all these teams so that we could serve our clients better, serve the college. Uh, that's faculty, staff, and administration. And we had a marketing request form, and that has evolved uh, over, actually we had it before we did the reorg, but it, it, it has been a great help for us. So what I would like to do is actually walk through it to make sure you're familiar with it. Yeah, um, and I don't know if you guys heard this, but um, we just found this out. There's an upcoming show. Uh, that's right. Yeah, and one of our ICC alums, Bruno Mars, is a... Uh, coming back and so we want to advertise this event we want to let people know so we need to send it through our marketing department so right and so I just so you know I went to 25 live this morning <laughs> and entered that in as an event right and so that's your first step for an event is you go to 25 live and make sure that the PAC is available or whatever venue you are going to be using is available and then your next step is to go to uh, the website and you'll see on the faculty and staff tab we have marketing support so I'm going to click on that and you'll see we have two options here you can make just a project request that would include anything from print design social media we'll get to that uh, eventually but I, but where I would start for Bruno is I'm going to start at a event request and first of all Kim did approve having Bruno Mars come to ICC so I can click that and and as I said I did put this event in 25 live so what this does is it prompts you for all the details 
So you want to make sure you put your event date in, mark your calendars on Saturday, November 2nd. He's got an available date to come to ICC. I want to have this in PAC. My audience is going to be uh, Bruno fans, but, oops, not Bruno, Br Bruno fans, but I really want our students to know about it, obviously. And um, That's we, our message. All you need to know is woohoo, Bruno Mars. So, and, and so you use these fields to tell us as much about the event as possible. That's going to help the team figure out what we want to do. Uh, so that's for the event portion. But there's also uh, a prompt about other marketing services that you'll require. And on the project request side that, I, that we went to initially, all of these items are the options you're going to get on that. You won't get the event side, but you'll get... Uh, let's say you want some design work. You're not a designer, you need some help. So you're gonna mark, I, I think for this thing, I want a flyer that I wanna send around campus, but I also want some posters. And um, I want those posters to be exciting about Bruno's com Bruno coming. Um, but this also tells you what kind of lead time we need for these projects. As you'll see later, we'll explain later why we need lead time, but that's, going to help you say, uh-oh, um, well, we happen, happen to give plenty of notice for this Bruno Mars concerts, but you might be in here and, and say, oh, wait, I need this sooner than two to three weeks. That's when you call Connor and say, I'm entering this order. Is there any way that this can be um, done in less time? And then he will look at the queue and, and let you know. So any questions while you're filling out this form you can always talk to Connor so I want some other details though I want I want some email support so if you look on email support you're going to get what level of service do you acquire for your email I want a all student email and I want it to talk about Bruno is an ICC alum and woohoo so add your notes of what you think that email should be. If you be as specific as possible. Um, and then uh, you have other options. We do want some photos taken. If you look at photography, we're going to say, is this indoors or outdoors? This happens to be an indoor event. I want the photos. Um, I'm going to give the photographer a few days to color correct the photos. But by Friday, I'd like to um, post the photos. Yeah, post on social media. Um, and then another thing I want, I'd like a little PR around this. So clicking PR, you'll see here's your prompts. What level of service do you require? Uh, press conference, on-air interview. We're just going to do a news release because we know that Bruno is not available to do any on-air interviews. His bummer. time is, what did you say? I said bummer. I know. Um, <laughs> So yes, we'll, we want, we'll want the media to know and get excited about this event that we're having on, at ICC. We do want social media, as I said before, so you would go to, um, uh, you know, please post appropriately. And if you want to be specific about it, and if you want to spell correctly, but like I, I really am an Instagram person. I want a lot of Instagram, and, and we are not doing, uh, a video of this. So social media, you might say, I need a video. I need, um, I need this. You might have images that you want posted, or you, it might just be a message. Uh, we do promote events on Facebook. So, you know, there are a lot of opportunities. So here's where you would be a little more specific. We haven't fleshed this out to all the specific requests. So it's, it's really just kind of a, you tell us what you need and we'll see if we can support it. But right now, we cannot take video of Bruno Mars, so we're not gonna be doing that. Another option then that you have is web development, and that's where we're gonna get a hold of Todd. We want a landing page for this event, um, but you know what? Uh, we also want a web slider on the whole home page. Oh, if I could type, wouldn't life be nice? And so er, any information that you can give us. And as you can see, we're prompting you throughout about what you might need. Some events, if it's a, if it's a meeting, you might want to have a meeting packet. Um, you might 
want it's a legislative event you've got people sitting around a table so you want lead, uh, table tents so everybody knows who's there uh, you might need some name badges and the events staff do have name badge holders so uh, keep that in mind that you don't necessarily have to provide those if you need them Stephanie and Linda will figure that out for you um, and then the last thing is uh, you fill in your name if you've if you've done this before and I'm, I, I'm not been on this computer before your your information will populate automatically so I've, go so ahead Ted, what if uh, what if we don't need to do the flyer what if we don't need to do all these things what if all I want to do is just send an all-campus email that this event is happening then your prompt yes if you you still have to come to the marketing request form and you'll get you'll see this if you go to project request and you just click email support and just that will come up and then you just hit send same thing so for social media if i yeah. just need social media yep you just check the only thing you need and you fill out the pieces and then you hit submit oops i didn't do something here oh they news release they do want us to tell us you can't just say i want a news release you do have to give us some information and is that the only one that turned we red a phone number at the bottom oh i see okay oh, well, you still see it oh, oh well what <laughs> that's fine what I do wrong? You did nothing wrong. I was trying to block your number. Oh, now the whole people can call, call me. You. They can call me. So <laughs> I hit submit request, and and you get a notice that says you have received this request. Um, that way you know it actually went through. Mm -hmm. If you don't get that message, then there's been a glitch or something, mm -hmm. in uh, in uh, and it could be the server or or the website. If you don't see that, then uh, give Connor a call. But you will also get an email mm -hmm. in addition to this showing up on the screen. And that email will, will give you a copy of the form that you have sent. And then what happens, yeah. Connor? That email that you receive as a, that shows that you went through this also says at the top, we will look through this and we will get back to you if we have more questions. So basically, once you put that in, you can know that we're going to open up my inbox. Oh, look at that. A new marketing request came in. Let's check this out. Okay. All right, Bruno Mars concert, awesome, 8 p.m. at PAC, whoa, we're we gonna fit everybody in there? Okay, let's see. We need a lot of things for this. Obviously, it's Bruno Mars. Let's do as much as we can, okay? We need a poster, a flyer. Okay, how much time do we have before the event? Let's see, the, okay, all right, that makes sense. Oh, it's on, okay, yeah, so we do have a good amount of time. They, they put it in with plenty of time. If they put in that this was happening next week, I would immediately call them because all these things that they asked for, I don't know if we can get all of that in next week. So let me keep reading through this. Photography needs, public see social media. Okay, this is a big event. We've never done this event before. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go open my calendar, all right? And I'm going to send a event request so that Ted and I can talk Bruno Mars. Okay, I'll invite Ted. I'm the client. Who is the client. Um, and then I'll say, hey, let's talk. I'll say more than that. But especially for something like this, a big event we've never done before that has a lot of pieces, sometimes I will invite some other people from our team to our initial meeting. So for this, I would invite Stephanie because it is an event and it's something huge and we've never done it before. I will probably invite Todd because we're creating a a lot of web content. I'll probably invite Kayla since we'll be writing up some things. I'll probably invite uh, one of our graphic designers uh, because there's a lot of graphic design pieces as well just for our initial meeting so everybody can get kind of a general sense of this new event. If it's an event that happens at ICC every year and we've created pieces for this before, that's a little better and I can just meet with you in person, just the two of us, and we can go over those details. We can talk about updating the pieces from last year. Normally I'll bring in those pieces from last year for us to look through. Um, but yeah, so we're both free at this time. I try and uh, gauge it out based off of my schedule and your schedule because we see what's available here. And so we'll talk at 10 o'clock. Great, all right, so we, then what would happen is we would meet together 
um, and we would get everybody in the room and start talking through those details. Actually, I wanted to pull it. We would literally go through this. I would have this printed out and we would go through this piece by piece and I would confirm details. Maybe some things have changed between the time of the marketing request form and our meeting. Hopefully they haven't, but maybe they have. We go through each piece and talk about, okay, what are we thinking for this? What kind of design are we thinking for this? Um, and we also ask for due dates and we talk about realistic due dates in these meetings. Um, because if something doesn't match the lead time on the marketing request, for us to ask our team to complete it in less than that lead time uh, is just unfair to our team on top of all of the other things we have going on. So we set up realistic expectations for what you can expect uh, when you can receive a draft back uh, as well as when you'll receive the final and when it'll all be printed or when it all, will all be posted. Uh, so we talk about our expectations and, uh, in the meeting as well and find a good balance um, in that meeting. Uh, so that's what we would do in the meeting, and then we'd leave, and then after we leave, we would, uh, I would go back and I would put anything and I would translate it into our language, and we speak the language of web desk print. Ted, would you tell us about this? Uh, so what, the other thing I wanted to mention when uh, Connor mm -hmm. said that he's, the meeting might just be you, you and him, then that project would get assigned to either a graphic designer or a communications person, wherever we thought it needed to start in the process. And on our side, if any of our team members have a question, who are they gonna call? They're gonna call Connor. Because Connor's met with you, Connor should have all the details. He will, he will say, you know what, I do remember in the meeting, they did say they want the color blue or whatever it might be. He's, so he's communicating with you and communicating with our team. And the whole thought behind that is we want our designers and our writers to be doing just that. They should be on the phone chasing details. That's why we hired Connor. He's chasing all the details. He's the keeper of all the information. So he's put on all our orders. And uh, faculty, some faculty and staff are already familiar with web desk print. But this is where everything gets managed. This is why we have deadlines. Is we prioritize our work in web desk print. And, uh, and that's how we uh, get things done. So just to give you an idea, I took this snapshot of web desk print on Monday. So Monday morning when we walked in, we had 171 orders waiting to be processed. They're not even in the queue yet. That's where Holly, you saw on the team slide, is going through those orders. She's checking them and make sure all the details are right. A lot of it is faculty and staff getting ready for, for semester startup. It's exams, it's quizzes, it's uh, course syllabi, it's lesson plans, but it's still a lot of work that we do around our marketing and other work. So 171 orders waiting. There's one new new client, that, that uh, orange one up there says, there's somebody, a new faculty member who has signed up for WebDesk Print. Um, but then if you look in the shop, right now we have two jobs that are at the vendor. There are seven that are waiting our customer to approve. We have some advisory finishing. Our communication staff has 17 jobs that they're working on. And that could be writing emails. It might be doing social media posts. It could be any number of things that are written. It might even be a press release. It could be writing a speech for the president. Uh, our communications team does all of that. Then we have uh, doc services is split in between the copy center and the print shop. Print shop where, is where we have all our heavy uh, print production machines um, and our binary and finishing and our cutter and our folder. In the front of the shop is a copy center where we just do simple copies. The team up there does copies that are less than 100. That helps get the, the projects through the um, through doc services uh, and, and relieves our team that's doing all the heavy lifting from doing those simple, what we call simple jobs. Um, and then obviously our graphic designers have 40 projects that are in the queue. In the print shop, there are 210. As of Monday, there were 210. <laughs> obviously, we processed 171 more, but in theory, those, those are getting out of the shop. They're in and out as quickly as we can get them. We do have a proofreading uh, status quality check. This was on Monday morning, so we didn't have a lot of, most of our jobs were ready for delivery, So, but every job that comes through the shop, we do a quality check. We make sure if the customer requested it's on blue paper, that it's on blue paper, and you know we, we always do that double check before it leaves our office. 
There are also any number of jobs that might be on hold. We're not really sure what the customer wanted here. That's where Connor may be back communicating with the client and saying, you know, we aren't sure if this is the right date. You said it's on a Tuesday, but the date you gave us is Wednesday. There could be any number of questions that put that in hold. Marketing approval. What, what we as a group uh, do and also what Connor tries to do, if there's anything that is outward facing, that is going to be sent externally, we want to make sure that either Kim or I are looking at that to make sure it's on brand, it's, it's got our voice, um, that it is essentially approved to go out to the public or if it's going to be even be handed to students. We want to, if, and we think it's a marketing, a marketing effort, marketing promotion, marketing uh, enrollment of some sort. We're going to make sure uh, as the keepers of the brand that it, it does uh, fit what, what we want uh, to be published. Um, we do have pending hard copies. Some, some instructors say, I don't have this electronically. I'm going to send it to you. But uh, the prelim stage is, is Connor. That's where all those marketing request forms that we just went through, they start in prelim. Connor sets up the meeting. So there's 22 jobs where he's setting up meetings. He's probably have, has, has them scheduled. And we're waiting to have that meeting, or we're waiting for feedback from the client before it gets into our system. And as you can see, um, these are all our completed jobs. We've completed over 80,000 jobs in WebDesk Print, the software that we've only had for a couple of years. Um, some customers just want us to email them, up, email them the uh, electronic file. We aren't necessarily printing it. Uh, but that's why we have deadlines, so we can manage projects. And, and the nice thing about this is we can find a job anywhere if if um, you know if, if somebody says I have this graphic design job we can just look at the queue of graphic design we're only looking at 40 jobs instead of 300 jobs to find that one job and where it is and in web desk print there is a history too so you can see okay uh, it went from graphic design now it's in bindery it went from bindery now it's in the print shop and so we are all at any time we can even tell when it's been delivered we say okay this was completed at 2.30, that meant it went on the two o'clock delivery. So uh, the software is great for tracking everything that comes through the shop. Mm -hmm. And that's web desk. Yeah, and so how that translates to the Bruno Mars concert, for example. After our meeting, I'll come in here and I'll create jobs with everything that we put together, an email, social media, poster, flyer, all of the things come in as a brand new job up here and then they go I, I basically assign them to wherever they need to go so for example like let's say a poster a poster is going to have a lot of information on it a poster is going to need some graphic design and then ultimately a poster is going to be printed so what happens with that is after we have the meeting we talk about it talk about what we're looking for and then first it goes into communications so communications writes up all the information on the poster makes it sound fun makes it match ICC's voice and then we send that to our graphic design team and they put that wording on top of a pretty thing that they've created, a fun, exciting, standout Bruno Mars poster. That comes back to communications to be proofread, okay, because there's that uh, proofreading category as well because we want, want to make sure before we show it to you again that there's no mistakes. We try to catch as many mistakes as we possibly can uh, before it comes back to you as the client because we want to show you the best version of what we created. And then we show you, and it's in customer approval, and we talk it over, and you give me your thoughts. You tell me, uh, maybe we do this, or maybe we change this, or you tell me it's awesome, which is great. And then if you say it's awesome and we're ready to go, then we send it back to graphic design to make it ready for the print shop. Uh, so it goes into a couple of these a couple times, but it's helpful for us to track where it's at and where it's been, because it has the history of where it's been. And so then they'll send it to the print shop, We'll print them all out, they will get delivered to you, and then they will get posted up. That is our process, that's why we use this service here. And so, as you can imagine, um, our team can get pretty overwhelmed with the amount of things coming into WebDesk Print. So what we started doing recently when I came on board is we started doing something called a stand-up meeting. A Monday marketing stand-up meeting. It's a meeting 20 to 30 minutes where we all get in a room, stand up, so we can be quick, and we talk about what's coming up in our priorities. First of all, we point out 
our MVPs for the week because our team is doing a lot of awesome work every single week and we point out a couple people who have really shined the week before. Um, and then we get into the nitty gritty of it. We talk about, okay, what's coming up? What are our major jobs that are coming up this week? What do we need to focus on? We look at things, okay, we started this last week. Where are we at it? Where, where are we at on this? Oh, okay, it's in proofreading. We talk about what's our next step to keep this moving forward? Or what are some roadblocks that are keeping us from getting this back to the client here? What do I need to call and ask the client questions about this job? And then we talk about our priorities, like, hey, SQB just wanted this sent out four days earlier, so we need to get this out tomorrow. And so every Monday we go through and recalibrate with our team about what our priorities are for the week. And then we also take some time to talk about our marketing process and procedures. We try to clarify that process, that communications, graphic design, proofread, uh, print shop. We try, to, we, uh, you know, we, we try to go through that and make sure that is quick and efficient so that we can deliver the best product back to you as the client in as little time as we can. And we're improving that more and more and more as we go, which brings us to our next point. Ultimately, we are a service the department. We want to provide marketing service. We are here to serve you as the client. And so we want to help you. We also want to help our team so that they can have clear expectations and they are not overwhelmed. Um, and we also want to help ICC. We at ICC want to create great things. We want our brand to be recognizable. We want people, when they think of ICC, to think, oh, they put out professional stuff. And when I see a billboard, it's well done, it's beautiful, and the ICC is a professional, well done company. So now, we want to take some time for Q&A, and we're, that's what we're really here for, is we want to help you. So if you have questions, now will be our time for Ted to take some Q&A. I can take <laughs> what questions do you have? Yes, I just have a very um, uninformed question. That's okay. That's okay. Um, I want to know how you determine, you mentioned, make sure it aligns with ICC's voice. Mm -hmm. I think I know what that means, but can you elaborate? Okay, so we talk to students a certain way, we talk to the community a certain way, so we might talk on the web differently than we talk in social media. Uh, so that's what we're trying to talk ab about. You know, there are times where you're, you should be, um, you can be humorous or playful, and then there are times when you can't. And so what we're trying to do at ICC is make sure that we drive that, uh, that, that uh, our communications are appropriate, that uh, they're accurate. So if we're, if we're talking about something related to academics, that we have the right terminology for what we call our career clusters, for example. So, so we're, re we're constantly in communication, so we wanna make sure that that is consistent. So the voice could change, but we're looking at the piece and making sure all the parts of that communication are uh, consistent with ICC. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. I have a more specific question, but I'll wait. Okay, that's fine. What else? Yes. If you have off-site events, is that just the project request or is that event request because it's not through 25 Live to confirm the space? I'll let Stephanie answer that. So you can use 25 Live for off-site events. Okay. There's a location we will show that says event location see description, okay. also off-campus. Okay. It's also our two locations. So that you can pick because 25 Live is location driven. Mm -hmm. So you can pick those two, okay. add them to 25 Live. So then it pushes out to our calendars. Okay. Um, I'm just thinking so like the community celebration yes. and like the golf outing. So those are things that should okay. be entered in there. So other people in ICC can see that that event is happening through the 25 Live calendar. Thanks, okay. Stephanie. Okay. So when we create content for like the messaging part that you're talking about in the event side. So we're coming up with all the content beforehand or is that something that we're having Caitlin do as part of the communications team? Uh, I guess I'm just kind of confused on do we give like initial content? Right. She'll go through it. Yeah, that's, that's a good question. Then, yeah, okay. what we prefer is for you to give us the basic information okay. Okay. and it may not be assigned to Kayla, you know. Uh, yeah. It's, it's assigned to anybody team. on the communications yeah. team. And that's, that's the whole reason we want to, that we have Connor, is that 
It could get assigned to anybody. But if you give us the basic information, we should be reviewing that and editing it and proofreading it. So, but anything you can give us to give us a start, because you know what you want to communicate. You might not know the best way to do that, but you've got all the details. So that's really, that, that's very helpful if we can get that. If not, if you say, I'm not a writer, all I know is this, this, and this, and I want it to be, you know, creative for this event, we can do that too. But any amount of information you provide is great. Yeah, and I'll, and I'll talk to that too. In, in a meeting, uh, basically, I want to get all of the information from you. So you don't have to, you don't have to, your creative juices don't have to flow to create the best way to write something. It can just be in bullet points. Here are the things that I want to communicate through this piece. It can just be in bullet points here. There'll be a blurb about why this is exciting, whatever it might be. You can say we want to expand a little bit here and then our communications team can expand that and match it to ICC's voice. But I want to make sure that when we meet and, and we, that I have all of the information collected from you. Because if I don't have all of the information, I don't have all of the accurate information, I can't send it to my team uh, incomplete. So I need to have absolutely everything uh, in order for it to get sent to our team for us to start creating something. Because if we keep making edits along, along the way, it pushes things back and back and puts stress on our team. So the more that we can have all the information up front, the quicker we can get it back to you completed. And the other thing I want to mention is sometimes you don't know what you need. You say, I have this event. I'm not really sure what, what if, I'm, if I'm going to do posters or, that's okay. That's where meeting with Connor's going to help you. That's when he would call Stephanie in as, an, as the event expert to say, this person really needs our help. You tell, can you meet with that person too? Meet with our client and help them figure it out? Or if something's not listed, and I, I see Carrie here, and she likes to do posters for her graduating sophomores, and we, we might not have the, that listed as a specific item, go ahead and write it in your message. I want, you know, I've never ordered these before, but my vision is I want these posters or I want something that's this size. You have complete freedom to request something and see if we can do it. And typically mm -hmm. we can. I was just gonna ask you, on the marketing request form, I didn't see an option for attachments. Is there a way to send? Good question. Like if I have last year's flyer. There is a way, just to help you can attach, them. and I'm not really sure it's in the project side, not the event. Yes, that's right. So project side. needs to be on both. Yeah, we can write a note that mm -hmm. we need to have time yeah. to make that available on the, the yeah. event side. And these forms, too, like these are constantly, like we're constantly updating based off of how we meet with a client. Oh, yeah, we need to add this, or oh, we need to put a PowerPoint as a as an example in here. So we're constantly making changes to these to make your experience better and to make sure we can answer all the questions up front ahead of time. Because that's what the marketing request form is for. Maybe, you've, maybe you don't know what you need and you go through this like, oh yeah, I think we would need a flyer, we would need table tents. It, it helps to answer as many questions before we have our meeting. And so yeah, that's a great point. We will add that to the event side. What else? I have one more little thing. Um, is there any way that we can have little handouts that have like the time frame of like, oh, a poster takes like three, four weeks lead time. That way we just know when we're working on projects that, oh yeah, okay, if I want a poster, I'm like two weeks in, so that's not realistic, but I can get this flyer printed. Just so that way we can get, and not bug you guys out and say, okay, I know what my time frame is. Sure. I know this isn't realistic, but I can ask for X, Y, or Z instead of this part. Sure. We can do that. We don't. Nothing exists now. It's just on. Yeah, the it's website. just on the marketing request form but when you can, click on we it. Can but create something. Sure. Yeah. Yes. How's it paid for? In WebDesk Print, we have uh, that order will be assigned to your account, your budget account. Mm -hmm. We do ask for it. Again, we went to the event side. I'm surprised the budget wasn't asked on the. Uh, we'll add it. But but anyway, when it gets to WebDesk Print. If, if it has John Baggett's name on it, we know to, it's all, the, the Holly will pick yeah. your department and it'll get billed to your department. Yeah. So if, yeah. If this is a Bruno Mars thing that's gonna happen every year we would put that as a line item in our budget. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Good call. Good yeah, call. great. Yeah. And there is, when I look through this, there is normally a, a place to put the budget line. And so that's on the project side, and I made a note, we're gonna add it to our event side as well. It so. probably was already in 25 Live, 25 right? 25 Live has an option for you to put the budget number in there. Okay. But that's for directional signage, and promotional signage, 
that's not 25 live. That would come that's into WebDesk web print, which right. has the, uh, all the account codes. There's also, I work with a lot of external clients too, and we don't bill out. It's in their, it's in their rental fee. So if they're renting this room for say $150, that would include all their directional signs. If they needed promotional materials, we would factor that into their rental fee. So they aren't billed out. So we have a budget number Good. that we put in for that. Good. Yay, Stephanie. <laughs> what else? We got a couple more minutes if anybody has any. Okay, okay this, this question um, is coming from a place of having ADHD and, and just a few details sometimes just bounce off of me. Okay. Because of that. Is Bruno Mars really coming to us? No. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. Man, that awesome. would be that would be great, right? And if he was an ICC okay. alum, we, we don't his face would be ICC everywhere alum. if he was an I ICC alum. I just made alum. that up. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. At least, I hey. thought that at the beginning <laughs> yeah. you said he was coming and then you showed us how we would request to have him come to campus, you know. But I thought <laughs> that he was coming. <laughs> It was. We okay. did mention that. Sorry to get your hopes up. <laughs> Man. Gary, well, with like athletic stuff, how do you, and this may be an after the thing, but like, do you want our schedules in? Because ours changes all the time. Like, um, we have events, like I have 15 home games, or softball, baseball, they all have different home games. Like, um, how do we, how do you, how do we communicate that? Or if we want something on Facebook, like, we're usually a pretty big presence with our athletics web um, Facebook page. Like, how did I know Tony's been talking with you about trying to get our posters and our media guides and stuff. Mm -hmm. We need to fill out a form every time we want something. Like, sometimes that's daily. No, okay. that would be. We would consider that a project, okay. an entire project. So in there, you would say, "Here's our here's our schedule. We want social media at all our home games." And okay. so then we would put it in our system, and we'd schedule it out. We would make sure that it happens if that was your request. Social media. Posters, you know, you would put out a schedule. I want posters for okay. my so team. Tony needs to get, I know he said he's talked to you. But we do have a request from mm -hmm. Tony okay. for uh, photography and for the um, printed, some of the printed pieces, not all of them, but mm -hmm. a recurring event, we can, we can, you don't have to fill it out every time. Okay. Right. Like, after the fact of like, it, so I had a basketball camp and I had taken pictures and wanted stuff posted after the fact, um, just. Then that would be a marketing request. You've got photos, you're gonna say, okay, I want these posted. Mm -hmm. You tell us where, you give us all the specifics and where we can get the photos and we can do that right. for you. Yeah. We're, like we're volunteering next Saturday at the Special Olympics bowling. And oh, cool. Uh, the golf and in the wild. Oh, so I'll take I pictures of that. Okay. Um, you'll be there too? Yeah. Okay. So we'll, I'll take pictures of that and then I want it, you know, we do a lot of community service, so I want that out there besides sure. more than just my Twitter or my Instagram. Right. Mm -hmm. So I would fill out this, fill out that, that's something different. Yeah, when in doubt, fill out the marketing request form because that answers a lot of the questions that I'm probably going to ask. Like, when do you want it posted? What content do you want? So instead of just sending an email, going through that marketing request is a form of that. It answers those questions ahead of time. And if I do. You'll hear a lot from me. I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll do a lot of that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. mm -hmm. You're Stephanie, did you have the, something? Um, the new digital signs outside at the, each of the entrances, is mm -hmm. that something that can be requested on the marketing request form? No, those are totally controlled by marketing. We are not gonna use those. We may use them to promote, uh, you know, there's a, ice, there's a basketball game tonight, but that's what we would control. Uh, it's, it's all marketing driven messages. So we're not gonna say it's Stephanie's birthday. Happy birthday, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Somebody actually asked that, but um, <laughs> so just so we're clear, it is that is not going to be something that anybody can request. If you have something, you can talk to Connor. If, if anything marketing, ask Connor. And let's say you want your games posted the day of. Start with him. It does, you don't even have to do a marketing request form because it's it would have to be run through Kim, and we wouldn't even go through our process. Right. Like I, I just figure we'll probably get that question now that Good. those are new. Yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and normally that's going to be like scheduled out in advance. So yes. like we're going to have, and we don't want to have way too many slides on there coming right. through. So we're going to be really particular about what five or six slides are on our schedule. And it'll normally be scheduled out for several months in advance. Yeah, the so software allows us to say, turn it on this time, take it off this time. 
so yeah, if you, if you think of something that might need to be out there, call me and we can talk about it. And if there's an open place, I'll bring it up to Kim and Ted, but usually we have things planned out for that. And they look great, by the way. Thanks. Yes. Our designers have done a great job. Yes, they did. We're going to get better, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? We're, I guess we're over our time. Oh, one more question. Sure. Over by enrollment services, there's televisions that are kind of on the wall. Are those, there are any plans or requests already for those to be used? Our plan is to, to give control of that to marketing. We don't have that yet. I know Kim is working with Bruce because uh, uh, he has had control of them up until now through people who report to him. And we want to take control and figure out what we want to do there. More it seems like it's underutilized to just have the news webcast. Absolutely. Right so I was wondering if there's any discussion. Yes, there has been discussion. Good point. Yep. We'll get there. Yep. OK, thank you all for coming. We really appreciate it. And who are you going to call? Connor. Connor. <laughs> Yay. Thanks. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. everybody.